Uh, hello. Hello there. Everybody, welcome to... The podcast. Uh, yes, accidentally on purpose. Accidentally on purpose. Yes. Uh, we we kind of... We, we got a guest. Uh, we didn't necessarily uh, ask for... Um, the the staff that we live with, we didn't ask for their permission. Uh oh. I'm I'm making it official that if like they happen to hear this podcast and I'm told that they're not allowed to, they're not allowed to. But <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Ah. Okay. So you guys were talking about what was it uh, Dragon Ball Z? Uh yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about that. Is that the blood track in Okay. Well, I'm wearing the sweater. <laughs> well. I had an interesting day today. What happened? Well, uh, I went to GameStop. Did you buy games? Uh, I bought an Xbox. You bought an Xbox? Yes. You got... You finally managed to save it up. I say I've been saving up money. I spent three hundred and seventy-two dollars on GameStop today. You got, you got, you, you got a thing you wanted, man. I told you I was gonna get an Xbox for all that hard work. Oh yeah, I also got a. I was also talking to yeah one of the staff who works there, and I got her gamer tag. Oh. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. She was kind of cute. Uh, um, you want to introduce yourself? Oh yeah, hi. My name is. Uh... Yeah. He has a nickname because he does. You don't want to go fully reveal your name, right? Mine's Rickman. You can go by anything you want if you want. Like... card. How am I supposed to remember that name? Alucard Deathman Darkstar. Oh god, that's a long name. The darkness. I <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. That's I am Alucard. Groot B. Groot B. Groot B will be your new name. Groot B. <laughs> Off me now. Silence! I killed you! Silence! Peasant! I almost break you like a candy bar. So, what you guys want to talk about? Mm, uh, how was your day today? Well, we, we usually... Uh, I'm doing that weird control. I should let you guys speak. I'm sorry. No, ah. no you're ah. fine. So, suggest something. Uh, so, you, I don't know. I'm new to this. I, I kind of like how um, there's a podcast I'm listening to called The Distractable Podcast. <laughs> and it's a podcast that Markiplier hosts. And he does this thing where in the very beginning, for like the first five or ten minutes, talk about our life. And we talk about our daily stuff. If you're at all interested in the way, then we use that to sort of branch off and talk about random sort of random things. Okay, oh, do okay. you guys even care about that? What? Don't tell the audience that. That's a <laughs> professional mic. I'm pretty sure they heard you. Ah! <laughs> Oh okay. yeah, I'm gonna start doing my live streams now well, on my Xbox now. I'm keeping my life a secret. That's a mystery. You are a mystery. Okay. Well, I'm with at the mission with these guys. Um, I. In, in a program, which essentially is for re- re- rehabilitation, but I'm not not an addict at all. I just need some time to gather my thoughts and emotions. Emotion damage. Yeah, you have no idea. I think we all have emotional damage. I've been through the ringer, and I recently talked to a shrink. And she was amazed of how I was able to survive everything I've gone through since my childhood. But uh, that's besides the point. I'm here 
to destroy everything in my past life. Destroy, be judging, got nothing to And uh, I'm on what they call ground screw, so I go around the property and clean stuff. <laughs> Trash. Like, and I'm also part of the day that we do also gardening stuff. Oh, so yeah. pull out weeds, break leaves, tend to the little garden we have. Oh, we got lots of and I actually know how to garden, like for real. I can till the land, back up mountains to make <clears throat> and plant seeds and take care of it and let it grow. No, not let it go. <laughs> let it grow. Let it grow. I remember back in the day uh, when we did uh, when, when I was uh, part of the program. The hardest. I'm not saying it's the most unfair or bad job, but you know the, the most physically laborious ministry assignment or um, physical activity we had to do in the program was was grounds because you you had to walk around. It was the sun. Sometimes you did have to get on your knees, get dirty with the Dirt. Dirt and grass. And oh yeah. yeah, I think that part. You get you gotta you gotta get get dirty and down to the nitty gritty. I think the boringest job is probably doing the fan job. I would actually wouldn't mind that job because you're sitting in a van, you're driving to places to pick up donations, and like hat like some of the drives are like forty five minutes long, so you're just literally staring at the window, bored out of your freaking mind. And you have like no games to play, and you're stuck staring at hey, the window. Hey, hey, speak for yourself. You have to, you have to count freaking cars drive by you, like every second, because the driver drives too damn slow. So you're stuck counting cars. What do you expect? He's like a seventy year old man. Give him a break. Gosh. <laughs> you can't. You can't drive like my grandma. We got places to go. <laughs> I think the other fun job though to do was the truck. Well, yeah, you got to pick up you got, furniture. Yeah, you got you got heavy lifting. You got to do some exercise. Like using muscles. You got to use your muscles. I have to use my muscles at work every day. Yeah, Wait, it's mostly fat. <laughs> Wait. Are you, are you, are you saying that when you go and do an official job in the U.S. You have to use your muscles? Yes, you do. Oh my goodness. You bumped this noodle. What in the... I think he had a breakthrough. Brain. I think he had a brain aneurysm. <laughs> and the world is see-through now. I understand Told everything. You. Told you. Breakthrough. <laughs> <laughs> you had a breakthrough moment. You didn't know he had to use his big boy muscles to lift things. Ah... Uh, my job is kind of fun and boring at the same time. So what do you do now, Jason? Um, I have been, I have actually been looking uh, around for more work. Uh, however, something uh, you know about, but I actually haven't talked to him about, uh, talked to Rickman about, is that uh, I actually did get a, an official diagnosis for uh, schizophrenia. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm... I'm told I'm supposed to, next week I'm going to be heading to, or I'm going to be getting a call, I'm going to have a team of, of therapists and psychologists and all that. Yeah. I'll be able to get a, a physical documentation of of um, proof of that. Yeah. And then I'm going to go and try to see if I can, because I, I apply to, you know, get general assistance. Yeah. Everybody's telling me I should go for it, because... Yeah, I should. Well, essentially, I would actually be... I would say it would be better if you got uh, SSI. Yeah, that's our. That's the uh, so you know food stamps. Yeah, no, but general system for the welfare is completely different, different from SSI. SSI is like from social is from what? social security. Yeah, and you get you like, get way more than what they what uh, generally. Um, the general A give you like three hundred dollars a month. Yeah, two hundred, three hundred. Yeah. If you have kids, it give you. Way like seven hundred, but you you're you're just you. a guy by yourself. What's so, SSI? SSI is Social Security. Yeah, I thought I thought that was general assistance. No, SSI is totally different. It's completely different. You have to have some kind of me uh, mental not just mental problem. What are you going to apply for? You have like the Social Security office. 
And you are... But there's actually a... No, you're good. There's actually a special building that deals with that. Yep. Um, I forgot where it's at. Is that Debbie? Is? Yeah. Um, the sister Debbie should, not, that should, should help you. Ask her and she'll help you out with that because um, general assistance from from the welfare... It's not that good. It's too much. Okay. Uh, they, they, they check your background. They check where you live. They do all this other crap mm -hmm. just to give you $200, $300. That's huh. too much. If you want to do all that and get m m way more, more than more. that, go to uh, Social Security. And and since you're going to do that uh, that whole mental ability, uh, mental uh, check and they're, they're going to diagnose you with something, that can help you with getting SSI even quicker. See, this is the thing. SSI will help you with housing. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to work. So what they do is that you get a payee, somebody who manages your money. Okay. And they, they, take out, they take out the rent, and then they give you a certain amount of money for you to spend. Okay. But if you can choose to work, that's up to you. Um, and uh, you you can get a cell phone, have a cell phone. You will always have a cell phone if you have this. Ah! And because I'm 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 having a bit of a real moment right now. So um, some people who are, who are on SSI, they they do actually abuse it, and there are some people who manage to get past the system. I really don't think that I can like manage a real life job over a couple of months before like I crash and I have an episode due to the things that I struggle with. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Go to do uh, to SSI. Yeah. I just told you that uh, the whole job thing is optional. So, as talk to Debbie when you get a chance and tell her, hey, I'm trying to get SSI. Can you help me go to the through the through the right channels to get it? See, or, my mom's on SSI. She doesn't have a mental disorder she has a muscle disease oh yeah and it doesn't have to be a mental it could be it, like a physical thing it can be a physical thing too because my mom been on SSI for her whole life and living off of $800 a month in food stamps was hard because our rent was up to $600 $700 a month so that left us $100 and and food stamps, we only got like 400 because it was like just me in the house now. So we didn't get that much food either. We always bought things that were on sale, yeah. like like poor basically food, like noodles that are like 50 cents a packet. Yeah. Admittedly though, that was like, that was the poor man's favorite snack food. Uh, mine was like freaking Hot Pockets, but those were expensive. My... That's not even poor man, dude. No. A poor man meal, do you know what it is? You have... Whatever that was in the pantry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I... <laughs> what I had in my pantry, that's what I ate. If yeah. we didn't have bread, I used tortillas, and we didn't have any meat, it was just a freaking mayo tortilla. Oh, I, I that's actually ugh. go hunting. Well, when you're poor and you don't have food... Yeah, I, I you, 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 hey, you I've your... tried that. It actually tastes damn good. <laughs> and it, it's actually pretty good. Cause... I was surprised. I had condiment food, bro. Like, if I had tortillas left and I had mayonnaise, hot sauce, and like some other random crap, I put. Oh, you go hunting. I, I had that, hunt. but I live in the middle of freaking desert. There's nothing to hunt. Those taste nasty, bro. Snakes. Snakes are. It depends on how you cook it. It tastes like rubber if you cook it wrong. Lizards. Lizards are alright. Right. Lizards. Lizards don't taste very well. I, uh, I've gotten poor food, but I have I haven't gotten tortilla on mayo for. And um, uh, if you eat chicken, hey, I and... think that's pretty good. You put mayo and a little bit of cheese. Yep. Wow. <laughs> and, and, uh, speaking of food, let's let's get back to the subject. And if you just have, because uh, I always had chicken, beans, and rice almost my and whole life, and everything nice. That's all I had yeah. growing up was beans and rice. And because it was cheap, or or beer, yeah, no. But my, my I had my own I, twelve pack of beer in my room. My my aunt, that's what she would do. <laughs> yeah, that's waste her 
put down her money on booze. buying more gold and booze. And then when rent day would come, she was like, oh, 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 do I have enough? Do I have enough? That was right. But now she's a different woman. Thank God. My family is so different. Well, maybe it takes one person to change. Oh, I'm the only one who changed. This is a good thing, look. Think about it this way. You ever seen, uh, Here Comes the Boom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Remember when he's talking about the whole cell in, the, in, in your body? Yeah. When you see one cell, Dead. then doing nothing, being lazy, then <laughs> the other cells are going to mimic that. Yeah. But then when an, when you, another uh, when a healthy cell decides to move, yeah, they all start to move. They right? they begin to have a chain reaction. They all begin to move, and think of think of it as you, the, your family, a body. You're the cell that decides to change and become different. Yeah. Um, let's see. Not instead of a, a defunctional member of the fa- of the family of the of society. You become a functional member of society. Yeah. And maybe they see that and they're like, oh, maybe I should try what he's doing. Yeah. You know? He, he, you can be the, you can be the, uh, the, so. the trap. <laughs> see, here's the thing. My mom just got remarried. Oh, boy. And she's still slamming dope. All day. And, uh, so is he. And he just got out of prison, too. Well... Uh, my mom always picks the bad people to marry. Yeah, I I figure I know why people like that choose to believe in a delusion that they have. But I can change them. Yeah, I they know. have good quality. He has a good quality. He's actually a kind hearted man. And then my uh, my oldest, I don't know what the hell she's doing because I don't even talk to her. Your older sister. sister. Yeah, I don't yeah. talk to my older sister at all. She's a psychopath, so I don't really talk to her. And then my older brother, I talk to him once in a while. But it's like hardly rare. Because uh, he has a family now. Mm. But he still drinks a lot. So sure drinks a lot. Yeah. 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 He's an alcoholic. And, and I was an alcoholic too, but a bigger alcoholic. So Jason, you got anything to pitch on? I zoned out because you guys were out on a tandem for five minutes. <laughs> ah! Ah! Uh, this conversation got really serious real fast. And, <laughs> and to ice the cake on the whole thing of my family, my brother-in-law decides to break his arm. <laughs> Nobody I, decides to break arms. It just, it just <laughs> I don't know what he did because no one will tell me. I asked my sister, how did you break his arm? And I got no freaking answer. This one, there was one time I punched, I actually got some, I, I physically punched it full force into concrete and like divots between my own knuckles were all bloody. No, I, no. I punch uh, brick walls, I punch freaking metal poles. I, I <laughs> had scars on for like a good portion of like three I mean, or four years. I even punched a metal sign that was I hanging punched. Up. A wall on it, I punched through it. Oh, some of these walls are freaking hella weak. Punched the Kool Aid and it broke through it. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, Oh no! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh yeah! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> ah! I'm the Kool Aid man. <laughs> Alright, well, let's talk about something that's actually fun and not depressing. I, I, was, about, I, was, I was about to say we should. Uh, we do have our tendency to talk about real stuff and be serious sometimes. But I like happy podcasts. I like food. Eh. And food likes me. I, I like to talk about positive stuff. And talking about these kind of real things puts me down a bit. Mm-hmm. Okay, well. Just yes. Change it already. Ah. <laughs> ah. Food. So, what do you think about uh, Well, would you give Jungle Ball Z a uh, chance? I, uh, no. Why not? It's too stupid. stupid. No, it's not. You it, take that back. You take that back, you heathen. You will die. Let's, let's, let's not be around the bush in the biggest argument of why people may or may not like Dragon Ball Z. 
Dragon Ball Z is one of the greatest. He's level 1,000. No, he's not. I've trained for two years to get to level 5,000. He's level 24,000. Actually, when he's... Uh, how does it... When he's starting, he started off with five... Uh, he was supposed to... In the manga, he was supposed to say 8,000. The, uh, the the point of uh, my slight distaste... The so English he's... got it wrong and said 9,000 is dead. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was 10,000, yeah. No, 9,000. It was not... Oh, it, over... In, in in the manga, it said and when uh Vegeta and that dude landed, whatever that dude's name is, the ball guy. Nappa. Yeah, Nappa. And it said his power level was Just, over. They hate Nappa. <laughs> and uh, his power. They're supposed to say that his power level was eight thousand. Oh. In the manga, it's eight thousand. But in when they did the TV show for English, the English on accident said over nine thousand. Yes. Uh, the, uh, I can understand why there are some people that like to watch Dragon Ball. My distaste doesn't come from that because I like to listen or watch like more sort of like slightly more intellectual stuff. I it I just the series feels like a bunch of grown men screaming and there's some high action and the action looks amazing and it looks it great, but the the series is essentially you know who who's the best who's on top. No, not really. It's just him. That's what it feels like. Think about it. That's all. You, you, you should go to jail for that. I think I just oversimplified Dragon Ball. You should go to jail for it's, that it's... blasphemy and make a comment. <laughs> yes, you go to jail now. <laughs> <laughs> Anime jail. Now, if we want to talk about Naruto, uh, uh, I watched the whole first series as a I kid. hate Naruto now because. Why? <sighs> There's like over freaking 300 episodes. Hey, and they're good. You're forgetting freaking uh, what's that freaking TV show called? Bleach. Yeah, fifteen seasons. Well, Bleach was actually more entertaining. It was actually. I'm even. I'm not even done watching freaking Naruto. I'm only. I'm only on season six. See, I had to rewatch it all over again. But each season of Naruto has like a hundred episodes. It's a, it's a partnership between. Actually, they have like 45 episodes. What defines the season, actually, for a well, show? Well, either way, well, for a regular show, it's like 12 episodes. For a normal, understandable no. anime. But Naruto, Takes the I like it, but it's just too long and too much talking. And then I was trying to watch Naruto Shippuden. It's just freaking recapping on everything. Uh, of, of the first season of the first uh, series yeah and it's just really Boring. it's like it's like okay the, if without that I'm sure it would have been shorter but because they wanted more yeah time and to extend the series they had three episodes of past um, no. missions at the Team yeah. 7 and Team whatever had to do. Yeah. Yes, it, it, it does get to a point where it's a full one or two seasons of full freaking recaps. My argument is it does actually stop. I was so determined to get to the actual content. I, I found a site that like imports the shipments right as it's delivered over to the USA on, online. And I kept watching until it actually got to a point and they did, they did eventually stop Recapping everything and new content did come and uh, the Akatsuki clan after four hundred freaking episodes. <laughs> I would watch the, like it's closer to fifty, but even then, I know it's that's a still a ridiculous excuse. See, it, it, I like watching Sword Art online because it only has like twenty four episodes each season. Well, yeah, and, and that's that's a normal uh, and season. The cool thing it has a mystery, it has a story, and, and has, it has romance. action and romance. Naruto just, One. oh, you think you're going to do this? Oh, I can't with this. Oh, I can't with this. I can't with this. I can't with... That sounds like a similar dynamic to how I was describing Dragon Ball. So maybe, Dragon extend Ball... my hand out, maybe we're not so different, you and I. But Dragon Ball Z is a lot better than Naruto, though. Dra yeah, the reason being... It has a lot of seasons, and it has a lot of good action fighting... If you ask and almost last... every anime I just... lover, if you, I guarantee you, if you ask every anime lover, what was your first anime? Ninety or eighty percent of them will say Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, 
And then you'll find that the rest of the other side Ten. is Naruto. Yes. No. No. I find that... I, Sailor Moon. I mean, to be fairly... One Piece. I, or One Piece. I, I, all one old series. Naruto the a little newer. But... 90% of anime lovers are actually from, like, old times. I yes. got more compliments wearing this sweater than I did wearing Naruto. Did you know that the French were the actual ones who invented manga? And that Japan actually popularized it and made it famous because they took the idea from France. It's actually a real... It's a true story. Manga was a European invention. Not even kidding. Well, they all are. Ooh, but the, uh, the Japanese made it better. It would be an abomination of the freaking... Uh, whatever the freaking idiots took. <laughs> it was French. Who cares? The French suck anyways. Wait, oui, wait. Oui. <laughs> ah! Who the heck wants to eat snails for dinner or for lunch or whatever the heck? The freak people who like to go to France. I do it at once out of curiosity just to say that I did it. I like sushi more than I do oh, like snails. Sushi is much better. Not yes. I hate fish. Yes. Sushi is a lot better. Yeah, and I hate fish. I'd rather eat that than snails. It's, it, the sushi is like, and it's, some, it's in some relation to fish. And it's all about fish with sushi. I ordered a dragon roll and it had eel on top of it. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound too bad. Actually, it wasn't that bad, but the eel kind of tastes kind of funny. Anyways, if you like a mystery but also like story to it, there's an anime called Erased. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a good anime. See, we've been watching anime for a very long time. There was this good mystery anime that was well, it had some it had some action to it, but there was a really pronounced mystery. It was the show was a called like anime right now. D or N, and uh, it's like the, mm, I watched that. That's a good one. It's about a little kid, right? He's like a detective kind of. No, no, it's about it's a young adult who's who's gone to college, and like uh, there's like uh, basically throughout the entire city of Tokyo or Shibuya or some large town that he lives in, it, there's a mass public showing of him killing and murdering somebody in cold, hard blood, and he has no memory of it, and people are all after him trying to kill, trying to kill him, especially this one specific bounty hunting dude who's particularly the best friend of the person that was murdered and thinks that he's the murderer. But he's also a really good judge of character, so he catches up with the guy... He says he has no memory of what's going on. He actually believes him and uh, promises to stay his life until they figure out exactly what happens. And then this whole mystery about what actually happened behind the uh, behind the whole shenanigans becomes supernatural. And there's like this creature that takes over people's bodies, and it's just one creature. And then there's also this side group of people that have these abilities that are like psychic. Uh, uh, it's it's kind of cool. I just realized how much anime I watch on Netflix. I'm sorry for talking about that. I'm, you're, no, you're good. I'm freaking. I actually, that's actually does sound. Uh, you, know, you know what's funny? I'm watching a TV, watch. a TV show. Uh, it's a new Netflix series called County Can't Communicate. Hmm? It's about a girl that can't. Uni- uh, I've seen that. It's it's on Netflix. It's She's TV. super shy. I know. To the point where if she says anything, she starts to shake. She starts to panic it's, and cry. She has so much. This is the crazy thing. Is that there's a guy who understands her. Tony? Well, I think that dude's funny. And essentially, there's a little skit on uh, TikTok that 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 very same girl, it's like during a track round or something. Yeah. And he's like, Ugh. So all much slow. Right. Yeah. All slow, right? But then she says, You can do it. You can do it. And he's like, huh? He goes like, like <laughs> ultra instinct. He goes, he starts Dude. to run fast, bro. Bulks it like he he. You can tell they like each other really yeah, well no. in the show. And she, they get into each other, but they like. They they get awkward at the same time. Well, she does, but he's like, but he he doesn't know that he that she likes him. I'm also watching Kago basketball too. Yeah. I actually like it because I do like basketball. I don't. I'm also watching any kind of sport anime. Well, it depends. I'm also watching The Seven Deadly Sins. Well, uh, that one's overrated. I actually do like that Fishing, show. Fishing, the anime. 
<laughs> Actually, well, it just you know, are you, wh- where are you at? Of a man I'm on four. On I'm on season four, episode thirteen. I finished it. Oh, lucky you! I haven't. <laughs> I haven't had Netflix in a while, so I finally got Netflix oh. back. Well, that's the benefit of having a PS4. Well, or, I have this right here. I, I had a PS4. I have an Xbox One now. I'm playing uh, Crackdown Two right now. I'm playing Crackdown Two. Oh, shut up, Meg. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> I know, you're the one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> you're an alien. That's what you freaking are. I'd rather be an alien than an alien. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. But I'd rather be an alien than, than a, a jerk. <laughs> you are a jerk. So, what other anime have you been watching, uh, just. I would do the 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 yeah, I, 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 I don't want to read. And uh, yeah. and uh, I know Netflix has a lot of anime in English. But the real the the weird thing about they have one punch one punch man, mm-hmm. and it on a preview it has it's in English. Yeah, but when you watch it, it's in Japanese. It's in Japanese, and then the and they have Spanish. But they don't have English. They don't have English, but the. It's Spanish and Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it doesn't make any sense because like half of the shows I'm watching, like, you know, uh, Tony can't communicate. It was all in English. And when you get to episode 13, it starts speaking it's, in, ja- in, it's ja- in Japanese. It's well. in Japanese. But when you go to it, it says uh, new episodes every Wednesday. Wednesday. What? Yeah, I no, because watched... it's a new series. That's why. I it just started this Parasite. year. Huh? Parasite? Oh, yeah. All the way through. Yeah, parasite. Oh, speaking of uh, new. His mom. It sounds like his mom becomes a parasite just to. It's it's very interesting in in the show. His I think I watched the immortal. I don't know. The immortal spaghetti. No, it was called the immortal uh, demon king or something like that. Daily life or something like that. It's an interesting show. What. Yeah, it, it it was. He can literally turn back time and stuff. He can write people's memories. He's like, uh. He, it's, uh it has to do with that. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, like, technically, he's like. There, I've seen this other anime. They call him the Demon King or something like he, that. It, it's called the Demon King. And he comes back, and he's in a, he's in a school where. People claim, that claim to be descendants of that of the demon, of the demon king. Yeah. Go to okay. learn more to learn uh, to learn magic and to learn who's in reincarnation, and the literal reincarnation is there, but they think he's weak because he's born into a family of merchants, kind of. And he and when he was born, he was speaking everything like a normal person. That is kind of weird when you're coming out as a baby and like father. <laughs> yeah, imagine. <laughs> well, when when he was a baby, he literally freaking walked out the hospital freaking room. Um, okay. Actually, in the, the, the they birthed him in the house. No, uh, when they were at a hospital, and uh, the doctor comes out to tell the dad, uh, your child was born, but the freaking child walked out. Oh, put up, uh, uh, look it up. I don't have more life. Oh. Because I just watched it like weeks ago. Mm. And it was actually a really good show. But it was. I had to watch it in Japanese though. Oh, but the one I'm talking about has English. We get so wrapped up into just listening to you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I watched Demon Slayer too. Oh, uh, yeah. They I actually have a new season. They have like three seasons. And uh, I watched the movie when it released in uh, Netflix on uh, in the movie theaters. It was all in Japanese. Yeah. It was actually a good movie. I actually liked it because I didn't watch a TV show. 
And that kind of got you into into what wanting to see what the TV show's about. Yeah, because uh, it because apparently when you watch the first season, it shows the train at the end of the first season, mm-hmm. and the movie picks off right there. Yeah. So like the the the, the that's supposed to like kind of introduce you to the second season. Yeah. It, it kind of sucks how that demon killed his entire family except his sister. Just turned his sister into a, a flesh eating monster. But the crazy thing is, she doesn't become a flesh eating monster. No. She actually uses her power to protect <coughs> her I, brother. I remember, uh, yeah, she turned into a demon. Yeah, you guys know that a uh, screw attack the death battle on Kool Aid Man versus Macho Man. Who? G- uh, Kool Aid Man and Macho Man. Who's Kool Aid? Oh yeah. Oh, and Macho Man. Who's that? Is that the wrestler? Oh yeah. The wrestler. The wrestler. Oh, the, the guy, uh, the Randy Savage, the guy you see um in like the Skyrim mods with the glasses and he's a dragon. Yeah, yeah. That guy. They're both. They, but that's he, he's a guy that says in Spider-Man, Hey, Fritzo! You're going nowhere! I got you for three minutes! Three minutes of big time! Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to start a conversation. <laughs> Alright, so, what about it? A Kool-Aid man one. How's that possible? How did he beat a wrestler? That doesn't make any freaking sense. Uh, because he has his own Kool-Aid dimension. And he's able to manipulate all things Kool-Aid. He's able to get Randy Savage to drink a pitcher of Kool-Aid and rip it out of his skin. And kill him. Then he was brought back to life. I know most of what I just said sounds like the ex- 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 exophil of somebody who lives on the streets, but... What happened? That doesn't make any sense because, first off, Kool-Aid Man doesn't have any abilities. He does, actually. They, they try to be as accurate and canonical as possible, so they went back all the way to the 70s and 60s. And back then, he did exist, and he had some stupid Superman-level powers. But also, Randy Savage, ironically, had some superpowers back in that day as well, canonically, supposedly. He's able. To, they they rounded up that Randy actually would be technically run faster than Kool Aid Man. Kool Aid Man can destroy the sun. Huh? And most of what I just said doesn't make sense, but that's what happened. That's retarded. Because Kool Aid Man, you just drink him, he's dead. They argued that he. In the, in the show, or in the analysis that Kool-Aid Man ma- is made up of both the Kool-Aid and the glass. So if you take away the Kool-Aid, he'd still be partially alive. And then he just need to find Kool-Aid, and he'd regenerate back to his old self. Can we just kill him? Yeah, so you drink it, and you slam it like uh, like an Asgardian. Another! Oh, oh yeah, like Thor? The sun. Ah! So? How do you destroy a person that can add the level of Superman strength? Jesus, he broke the hell out of He's him. He's still made of glass. Glass is breakable. Yes. But, I mean, he... Make that punch you, count. He, he might have just blown it up because he's on Earth. I want to watch Food Wars. Again. But I guarantee you, you put him in the area where it's like over a thousand degrees, he'll melt. No, yeah. no, no. I mean, he, he gravity falls and broke it. Like, he... Or, uh, fourth wall broke. He walked on Earth... He looked at the yeah, sun, exactly. and then he picked it up, he smashed it like a light bulb oh, well, let me see that. Oh. from Earth, like looking at it like a cartoon. There you go. That kind of ridiculous power is stupid. I, I found the anime. It's called The Daily Life of the Immortal King. That's the name of the title, but I can't find it. I've seen that one. That's pretty good. Yeah. A record of Ragnarok? Yeah. Have you seen that one? No. You still watch it because you... I don't watch as much anime as people think that I do. You, know, you, you should start. I watch a lot of Let's Plays on YouTube. And I work on my comic. Yeah. Oh, well, the comic is fine, but you should really watch a little bit more anime because essentially you can get ideas of storylines. You can 
It's really cool. I mean, that's how I uh, get ideas for certain characters. When I draw, I, I watch a lot of anime to a point where I can actually, oh, that'll be good in this guy. The, 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 and I'll take pieces of each character I see that I like and implement into one character. Yeah, uh, most originality well, is a you mixture. List. But most originality is, is a mixture of all the influences that you've taken in as an early child or as an adult. Everything that you sort of experience. Are you are you watching anime on the? No, I'm just watching an ad for it. Because this guy kicks a frog and it falls over. And there's another. Oh wait, that's the one. Yeah. Where in the beginning they're they're in the school, but for some reason, and, and, and it's not Japanese. It's um, uh, m- m- uh, Chinese. I okay. I don't. It, but uh, in this show, he literally walks out the freaking hospital. Like, a baby, he freaking walks out the freaking room. I don't necessarily feel a bit and, too comfortable watching shows and, like that. Well, like demonic, yeah. Well, know. he's it's not really demonic. Speak for yourself. I'm more. We have more demonics in real life than we do in TV shows. Yes. But, uh, he was yay big and he kicked a freaking frog and killed it. A big giant demon frog. Yeah. It was freaking, crazy. He freaking, the dude falls in front of him. The frog, something happened to his snack that he likes and he freaking kicks the frog and kills it. I did watch the full series of Blue Exorcist. Well, that's even more demonic than the show that I watched. Yeah, dude. That's more demonic. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah dude. That's worse. That's worse than that show that I watch. I'm not. I'm not too because like the story is the story is good in in the show of it. They're, they're, they're demons. They're they're the Satan's sons. Don't you get out of that? Yes, but I I did watch the series before I dealt with a lot of the personal issues that I do now. I need to watch Resident Evil. I'm I'm really into like uh, any sort of show that or any cartoon that's like has a lot of work put into the story. Mm-hmm. And I, lo- I also love a good amount of action put into it as well. Right. Uh, they also got ghosts on it. Mm-hmm. But the story always takes premise. Well, like, please don't make it clown on. That's If it's a straight up slice of life depressing... I kind of do like... Oh, it. you know what? You will actually like... If you like... Well, this is really cool. It's um, It's kind of funny. It's kind of like uh, they have ghosts in Harem. the show. You ever heard of uh, Life t- Love Tyrant? It's essentially so the whole thing. No. <laughs> the whole thing is that there's a, a girl that's a Cupid, right? Yeah. So yeah. she, but her spoiler alert. She she she, she weird. <laughs> so in the, in a way in a good way, I can't like fun weird. I think we're kind of uh, destroying anime for some people. <laughs> <laughs> like, they haven't probably watched what we're talking about. We're just spoiling and everything. And yeah, you guys seem to know more than I do. Because well, we... Because that's all we do. When, like, when I have my days off, I'm sitting there with freaking watching anime. Or I'm watching... I'll Dis- dabble sometimes. But... Or I'm watching Disney+. Plus. Yeah. I'm waiting for the new series of She-Hulk to come out. Oh, oh yeah. Series? Yeah, they, yeah. There's a cartoon. No, I that was no. A, movie. a real series. They're having an actual live action of She-Hulk. Oh. Coming out this year, actually. The actor, the actor, because it actually has Bruce Banner in it too. But are they going? I thought. And I thought the they were going to put a black woman. No, it's actually a white woman. Okay, she, good. Cause she's cute. She, the, this whole thing. Dude, what, they made. Seconds? In one of the movies, they made one of the characters black, and he's not black. Who? Oh, when Netflix when they they did the Resident Evil. Oh yeah, yeah. Wesker is freaking black. He's right. not black. He's white. He's white, and it's just so annoying. I hate when you do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you guys? Uh, did you guys know the uh, the Resident Evil movie series and the game series are, are actually... completely different? Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're, they've been confirmed to be completely within the same universe, but the events and stories take place separately. And the event—it's uh, shown because 
in some of the movies, you'll actually see it, the occasional video game character come in a little bit and then leave. Uh, in one of the movies, Leon S. Kennedy, which was st- guest starring, uh, which was the main character for Resident Evil 2 and 4. It was Resident Evil Afterlife. He was only there for a second to save the, yes. that chick. That's yes. the clone. But it was also to show that it's it's there. The, the universe itself is, is put together. The last name is specific. Stars. As well as like Wesker, him being in both the games and the movies, and him looking the same exact person. The, I still get the memories of this sometimes. <laughs> the, the universe itself is put together. And theoretically, you could have Alice or whoever the main character from the movie is have their own video game. Or you, if they were really smart and they really wanted to rake in the sales, they'd have a movie with Leon S. Kennedy. Actually, they do now. Because when they came out with the new Resident Evil movie, I went to go see it. But, no, they had... Um, they have Leon. But it's the last one. Yeah, the new one. It's not the new one. Well, it's, okay. a year, it's a year old now. But it's, it's a, still a new movie yeah. because it's been out for a year. But it did have Leon in it. But he was a rookie. A rookie cop, you know? Rookie. Yeah, in Resident Evil 2, he, he was a rookie cop. But in the current where he is but, standing but now... But he was in Raccoon City. Yes, yes, but this movie takes in place in Raccoon City. I haven't seen that one then. Okay, He, cool. he was a survivor so, of Something to look forward to. But no, the one I'm talking about is when they end the story of Alice. Is that she finds out she's a clone. Yep. And she goes... Ah! Yeah, I and, remember but, that. Um, and she stabs somebody with a pin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, that and, was, Wesker, and Wesler dies. That was in the, that, one too. that was the final. Yeah, that was like the. The six. final chapter, supposedly. But we all know Resident Evil doesn't end. It's not going to be the final the chapter. New, the new movie that they came out with at the end of the movie, because I watched it, it said Welcome to Raccoon City. Look, what's crazy yes. is the game I, like, I played. The first game I ever played was Resident Evil Zero. On the original? On the original GameCube. Yeah. Because yeah. that's where it came out. It came out only for the GameCube. That was a fun and game. And that one was a two disc um, yep. and play, playable game. You start off in the train. But the cool thing about that game, okay. that explains a little more of how they develop the T virus and the G virus. And um, how it was, how Raccoon City got exposed to it. Okay. But this is, but this is the crazy thing is, in that game, the very same person who created that virus ends up being mutated by the queen of a leech he used. Now that in itself, he he is a, he turned him young into this weird, long-haired guy, and he sings like an opera singer. Mm-hmm. And that's how he's able to control the leeches. And um, there was a train, I think, go- coming or going to Raccoon City. Okay. And he in- it infected it. And it stopped, but everyone everyone aboard was dead. And then this character named Rebecca, he was part of... Um, yeah. A uh, security... Uh, sec- security... I think you were spoiling some game... Things. That's I, I, that, this I, is an old game. This been out since this been, I was a been child out for a long time. So there's no spoilers, and quite frankly, they remade it. Yeah, they oh, have, they they have, have, yeah. That Resident Evil Zero now for Xbox One and PlayStation Four, I believe. Yeah. That, yeah. So like that. That's an old game. It's been. It's oh, been out for years. Yeah. Like decades, actually. Decades but, now. But um. Early 2000s when it came out. And uh, so this character, Rebecca, part of, I think, Stars, right? She was like a, a, a uh, guard, but not a guard. She, I forgot what she was. I forgot what they call him. But some kind of officer. And um, and her and her team yeah. was, was, was sent to investigate what was I'm going on in Raccoon City. And, but something happened where the chop, their yeah. helicopter, the transport, um, ended up crashing down, and they crashed down near the train. And so she was the only one that was near the train. But bef- the whole before before all this, they were transporting 
the military was transporting a like, criminal. Yep. Isn't oh, it? Uh, well, who me. they consider a criminal. Okay, okay, okay. How busy? It's a bit too much. It came out November 2002. Oh. Dang, that's old. It's been out for decades. So, it's show me the picture. This is what it looks like. Okay. And look at uh, the first item you can buy for the GameCube. Fair enough. And, and that's the first time it came out, but then mm-hmm. they they have remade it. Yeah, but they remade it for the Wii, and then they remade it again for <laughs> the newer system. <laughs> look, I found it for the Wii too. <laughs> Twenty yeah. three dollars. The oh, first yeah, game no. I actually played. They even have it uh, for the twi- uh, twi- uh, Resident the Evil Two, ironically. Resident Evil 2? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, wow. I found, uh, you know what's funny? I found that today, too, at GameStop. I was going to get it. It's but Resident, they wanted good. Resident Evil They what? wanted two... 200? No, they wanted like 15 16 dollars for it. Oh, that's not bad. Um, I don't think I had enough. They for it. also had another thing. Um, there's Resident Evil Veronica for know. the Dreamcast. That's essentially like one of the most boring versions of Resident Evil. We'll talk about real horror. Try playing like, uh, like not a side spinoff, but a real legitimate Silent Hill game. Oh yeah, uh, I yeah it's not that sta- scary. It's like one and two. Sc- I, I did three. I, they're, I, they're all I, terrifying. I, I that, they're not re- that scary because I played it. I played I'm it by myself in the dark. I was like, eh. and then I, the jump scares. You're like, eh. uh, that's obvious. No. Well, it, well here, here's the thing. I I played Dead Space. I played freaking Fear. I've played all the Dead Space series. And Dead Fear is a little more scary. Because, it's a little bit more scary. But it's also cool. You don't expect it either, the jump scares either. Yeah. You don't expect it. They're like uh, sequences in which there's high octane action, kind of like Call of Duty, and then it goes silent and quiet. No, and they're, scared. They're, this is the thing, though. You, If you play a two-player version of it, you play a soldier and you play a, a, a spirit. There's a little girl. Cult, a, oh, you're talking cult. about Fear 3. I'm talking about no, it, no, it, the, the classic cult. Fear 1. Was It straight up was a purebred horror game where oh, you, yeah. you fought segments of like Call of Duty action where you shot people. There were gunfights. And then but, when you got rid of all the people and you were exploring the like the buildings and the place that you beat, it starts getting creepy and scary. And then there's like this weird nightmare. Do you realize all of that is in this effort? Yes. Yeah, I know. Cause uh, I remember the first mission that you play, and you're walking, and a little girl pops out of freaking nowhere, mm-hmm. and then you keep on going, and then a freaking like you walk through this fire, and a beam falls right in front of you, and you don't expect it. Yeah. I've actually played another game that's much better than that. It it, it didn't even scare me. I'm like it's a newer game for a PS4. What is it? I used to play Outlast 1 and 2, and those games weren't even scary either. They, they really weren't. It was just like gore. No, but uh, this... Uh, um, oh, in, Inner Darkness. Oh, yeah, I heard about Inner that. Inner Darkness, game. that's much scarier than what you, than Fear. Mm-hmm. And Resident Evil, you know what? And Dead Space. And Dead Space. And because Dead Space, I would go. Have you even, even seen it or played it? No, I haven't no. seen it or played it yet. So you can't even argue that it's not... I can't argue that it, it's not, but I also cannot argue that it is. Until no, I have changed the burrito, I cannot say if it's good or bad. I can I can say... Uh, no, no, but I, I can say, since I've played all the games you've mentioned, I can say that this game I just mentioned is actually a little more scarier than those. Because this is the thing. It's an ex-cop who travels, who, who's able, who has a playing the ability to travel into a different dimension or something. Oh, that sounds cool. And he's a, uh, he's a detective. And he's haunted by the fact of him failing to save his daughter. Oh, dang. And, mm-hmm. and um, he thinks he's de- she's dead. So, but then there's this is the thing, though. See, in all those sequences, if somebody try if one of the good person the person kills you you're dead you can't um you're not staying trapped or you're not you're just dead yes. right yeah and each person and each character that gets killed they're, they're dead now in this game there's a bad guy or it's a, a, a guy who seems like a bad guy yeah who um 
<laughs> bad coffee is that bad, huh? Bad coffee, yeah. That's why How are you torturing yourself? Just that, get something out. That's why I make my own coffee. It's healthier than soda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, but not, it's not good for your teeth, though. Neither is soda. He's got a plan. Oh, you go. <laughs> nah. But anyways, yeah. in this game, there, this guy, he's able to teleport, right? Yeah. He's able to teleport, kind of like Wesker, but Wesker is... Kind of, if they were to fight, this guy would win. This is why. He will stab you and freeze you in that moment. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, I, that's not... Okay. No, hold on. This is not even everything. Okay, fair enough. Here, I'll let you go. So, the first creepy ass... Sorry. Creepy person or character or creature you gotta try to ru either run or fight is this woman oh wow okay so you go so you go into a, into into a, like a room and you okay. look and it's a woman all covered in wet in a, in a dress and she looks weird she smiles in a creepy way you, you hear a noise you turn around and you look back she's like this huge hulk like creature thing mixed with all kinds of body parts of, of uh, female body parts of hand fate, head legs and her arms are chainsaws giant chainsaws that sounds actually pretty cool I mean you can't do nothing but run away even if even yes. having by having having a gun in Resident Evil you fight somebody like that you have to run but then you shoot him. And shoot, you can shoot him. And there are some enemies you can't kill. No, the ninety percent of them, the the ones like that, you end up finding that later on anyway. Join me. The Regenerator in Dead Space Two or Three. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, not scary. Yeah. Dead Space is not that scary anymore because I've seen, I play the games and I've seen the video. I know already the whole thing. What well, how they become. You know, how the humans become creatures like that. And, it's uh, not that scary. It's like a ripoff of uh, aliens. You know, uh, I was playing when I was... I... It's an alien virus, essentially. But either way, it's still a ripoff of, ali of aliens. Aliens was a good game, too. Aliens, in, in, there's a foreign creature who goes into the mouth, comes and becomes... The, if, the, or you just die by the big one. Uh, yeah. The mother... No, I mean like just the normal alpha predator one. I know, but the 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 the. the, the, the. And then uh, essentially those those things are more scary than the than Dead Space. You know, yeah. uh, I've been I just started playing uh, Crackdown Two. Oh yeah. And uh, freaking it has zombies in it. Yeah, zombies are overrated. I love I'm zombies, bro. I, I'm getting sick of these yes. old games of zombies. I love. I mean, zombies. I can agree with you. Why don't they make more games of like vampires, werewolves, more of? Why do you want to be a gay sparkly vampire? <laughs> Not all vampires are sparkly. <laughs> they, I'm talking about good vampires. Oh, where... you're talking about like underworld and. Uh, no, I'm even better than underworld. I'm talking about like Alucard kind of uh, thing. You know, freaking underworld was a good movie too because they made. No, it, it wasn't. I didn't like it. It was stupid. It was a great movie. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. They no. were was no. more realistic no. than you. No. Yeah, no. you know, no. Quite no. frankly, the werewolves my look, favorite type of movie. Look, the werewolves space. look more like rats. No, okay, no, but they look like giant arguing, you can big hear me rats. You look like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, have you seen Underworld? Uh, they were underworld. Okay, do you seen the werewolves? Didn't they look like giant rats? Why you saying massive? I, I, just, I don't think the werewolf is generally a scary creature. To begin it's with. not, but it look, but it's, it's good for action, but it's not good for horror. No. Actually, you can make it kind of creepy. Yeah. Ish. If you do you it can, right. I think you can, vampires you can, can make creepy. You can make it horror in the aspect know, of the main character is a either. werewolf, and it's you see the thing. pain of them changing. You can like you hear like the the like the flesh tear and rip. And their actual pain and the main well, character they did is that. the werewolf. They that did can that. Be horror. They, they did that in, in Underworld. Yeah, and you can hear the bones crack too. Oh, you know who? You know what movie was good? Huh? Who I who I think they should do a sequel? Huh? Van Helsing. 
Oh, yeah, they should. With uh, Hugh Jackman as Van Helsing. Yeah. That was a good movie. No, that was a good movie. They, they, they did do one. They did do one spin off. I don't think either of you have heard of it. I hate spin off movies. So it's not about him, but it's in the same universe as the movie. It's called Frankenstein. And it's I Frankenstein, you mean? No, not I Frankenstein. It is literally, it is called Frankenstein. Oh, and yeah. It is about the actual Frankenstein from Van Helsing. He gets his own movie. Wait, did they did that? Yeah, yes, they'd yeah, actually. I've seen oh, it. Wow. It wasn't that good of a movie. Oh, but see, that's the thing. But it is Who gives movie? a crap about Frankenstein? And spin off movies suck. <laughs> My favorite movies to actually... Essentially, the real story or the book story about Frankenstein is kind of disgusting. I kind of like watching military movies more. I, and military I, is also overrated. And they're hey, not even real. Hey, yeah, they are. Who are you? No. Oh, wait. You're talking about, like, true story military? Yes, oh, true okay. stories. Like, I just got done watching 12 Strong. Well, that, that one was a good movie. That one's based off a of true story right yeah. after... I thought one, you were talking about, like... Oh, no, no. More movies, like, and do stuff like that. No, no, I'm, no, I'm about, like, nah. No, I'm talking about, like, our actual, like, based on a true story military movies. Like, I just got done watching 12 Strong. I'm watching now, I forgot the name of it, but I'm watching, oh, it's called Outpost. I'm now watching that one. You should watch. That's based um, on a true story. You should watch, uh, Last Strong Standard or something. Oh, uh, The Last Survivor? The Last Survivor. I, wa- I already watched that one. That one's so awesome, because, like, him being the last guy I know. Uh, or sniper, he goes to a village in that area and the Taliban's over there trying to raid him and they do everything in their power to stop him. Yep. And uh, and it's based on the true story. Uh-huh. And in the mo- in the movie they show the 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 real characters of the yeah, uh, at the end of the movie. At the sure. end and they talked about that they have an ancient uh ritual or ancient law if a traveler gets into their uh town or uh the uh, the tribe whatever they um will protect them and um, and they're hurting whatever okay they will they will nourish him back to health and protect them and protect them from their enemies to death so the town actually protects the sniper yeah and they did kill all the Well, guys. just the guy, but it's, it's a weird story because, like, some of them wanted to turn him in. But because of this guy, they end up not. And um, they end up fighting and holding off until back at the right. His, yeah. uh, his yeah. whole squad got wiped out. That isn't that bad of a story. And yeah, no, it, 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 it's much... It's much and it had Mark Wilmberg in it, too. Yeah, it, it's, it's, a good, it's a good movie. And uh, the one that I just got done watching called, uh, called 12 Strong, it had a uh, freaking, what's his uh, name? Thor, I think. Yeah, it had the actor who played Thor in it. Did Luke Skywalker show up? Freaking <laughs> no. Luke, they don't, they don't even need Luke, they survived. And Dude. they the, the reason why they're 12 Strong is because all 12 survived one against... A whole freaking army of Taliban's. Yeah. And they're the first squad to fight against the Taliban. And survive. Oh. And survive. Well, one of them kind of got injured at the Yeah, but they, they still live. He got kind of exploded by a suicide bomber. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, we'll be to the, to the... There's like... <laughs> I like how we went from anime to like... War, war movies. movies. <laughs> hey, some anime has got some war movie uh, shows. Like horror. Yeah. Horror. Horror. yeah. They got all different kinds of shows. I like know. horror. I like. I, I kind of like watching horror films. Like this, it's not even scary anymore because you grew up. I grew up watching horror films, so every time when people freak out and scream, and I'm just sitting there like freaking. I like, think it's funny because uh, like, I'm just sitting there thinking it's like, I look at it's like you guys know this is fake, right? And they look at me like, I know it's fake. Then why are you getting scared? This ain't even scary anymore. Mm-hmm. Like they just look at me like, you're a psychopath. I'm like no, I'm not. I just grew up watching this stupid crap. By far the scariest movie I have ever seen would be Insidious. Oh, uh, I know that one was not even that's, scary. That's just like I, child's I, play. I, 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 am like sucker, child. I am a sucker for, and my hook really dives in. For being afraid when it comes to atmosphere 
when I see something gory and some man getting his head chopped off at like saw levels of <laughs> everything ripped saw. in the skin, flesh ripped yeah. and peeled, I don't flinch at that. But if you put if you put a character in a room and you start hearing that little like SpongeBob theme song in the background and you uh, see, yeah. as you you like see a shadow underneath the door as the main character looks and you know something's behind that door, it's terrifying. Or you feel like something's watching you in the room directly, and you can't place it. That's the horror that I am afraid of. That that subtlety. I mean, that's that. Oh, that I is guess. what I. That's what I watch. Me. I watch Chucky. I watch Hellraiser. I freaking watch Scream. I watch. Scream is not even. I know, like scary is but it's still like a... it's still part of a horror film. I even watch freaking uh, uh, Halloween. Freaking. Friday the 13th, I watch all the paranormal activity, I watch all these horror films, and they don't scare me no more. Uh, probably because we are jaded commission of watching so much horror. Yeah, it, I love going to Haunted House because I don't get scared, and they jump and scare me, try to scare me. Me and my sister looked at them, laughed, and kept on walking. The world must be very boring for you, huh? <laughs> no. You're so immune. It's because when you get so used to watching certain movies growing up, because that's all your parents watched was horror films. Yeah. Sometimes we did watch action-packed movies. Of course, I always watched the Fast and Furious movies. I was always into cars. And then, uh, it was more hill, uh, horror films. I kind of watched some kids' shows once in a while. But it was always about the horror films because they were more interesting because watching people die and they run away and trip over nothing. It's like... That, that's completely stupid. I'm like, But it becomes a lot more horrifying when you're like, when your main character has at least some level of common sense and the monster is still smart enough to fight him. You, you, know, you know what's funny? is the smart ones are the ones who stay and fight the creepy monster instead of the pussy that run away. No, I think if the, you the, had common sense and you're fighting the, a ghost, you would you would break ones, out the door of the haunted house and leave. The ones, the ones who run away is the ones who get killed first. But I think in the reality of situations, if you're dealing with a paranormal supernatural entity, the smarter ones wouldn't fight the monster. They would find the nearest window, break it. And us, book it out there. Us white people are that stupid to walk towards the noise. Yeah, but... If you watch every horror film ever made, the black ones run away, the white ones walk towards the noise. Because it's, it's a f- curiosity. We, yes. It's reality. We ain't afraid of shit. No, you, you guys are just stupid. Well, yes and no, because we ain't... And attention ho- whores. Uh, yes. Yes. But we, eh. but some of us can take a lot more damage than others. Sometimes I can take more damage than any of you two chicken heads. I don't know. I've been through a lot, dude. We all, we I got hit by time. by a bat. I had something go almost through my eye. Been hit by a bus. I I got hit by a car. I almost got hit by a car. I got I got hit by a uh, freaking twelve inch. <laughs> it says what she said. <laughs> Twelve inch, freaking um, uh, uh, what is it? Um, car right? car wrench. Oh yeah, I've been hit by one of those. Those were. And my hit. head, and I got my skull busted. My 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 skull busted in, and I have a scar to prove it. Okay. So yeah, I can take a beating. I got my leg cut open. I'm living a real life supernatural nightmare. Uh, I've been that, that's been the whole life I got yes. cut open I've been stabbed I've been I freaking currently am almost hit by a car I can actually tell you how to beat it but you don't why are we talking oh! about how long okay. has it been <laughs> I, I don't ready. know I'm ready for sleep it's it's, it's too young <laughs> the night just begun I know I can't even play video games oh crap now. yeah time Time. Time. Ah! Ah! This has been... Accidentally. accidentally on purpose. On purpose. Y'all have a good night.